Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video. And if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button. As well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So in today's video, we will be testing a screen protector that has a lot of mixed reviews. So I'm actually a little excited to test this one out for myself, but also again, a little nervous because this one is the brand new Zag Invisible Shield Glass Curve Elite. Now this one is a amazing tempered glass. It always says in here that they are the number one selling screen, but this is the first one that they have created from my knowledge that is full adhesive throughout the whole entire thing. Now I've noticed a video that is online from Zag TV that was maybe posted about two weeks ago but they only have 3,000 views now the bad thing about that is that a lot of people is installing this wrong I've seen it installed in person at least a dozen times half of them were right half of them were wrong and most of the time it just was not 100% perfect I think I've seen one or two go on there perfectly but I want to see in this video if I can do it correctly so you guys know the exact process of what you're supposed to do but we're also gonna be testing the touch sensitivity um, not only the installation but also the case friendliness now the only thing that I I won't be testing in this video today is the scratch proof you know how scratch resistant is this thing and I'm also not going to be breaking and taking it off so I will actually use this one for about five to seven days and I'm going to report back within that five or seven days of exactly how is it working and then within that video I'm gonna let you guys know my experience with it so I can use it on a day-to-day -day basis and that is the video that we will also scratch it and break it off so we can see exactly how easy it is to pop it off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the overhead rig. Hopefully I can install this thing correctly. If it does not install correctly, then you know that this thing is not a easy installation, but I might as well still go through and test uh, the case friendliness as well as the touch sensitivity. In case if you do get it on there perfectly, then at least you know exactly how good it is. So outside of that, let's move over into the overhead rig and let's install this thing onto the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So here's the Invisible Shield Glass Curve Elite. This one is the one that is made for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. And particularly this one today is for the S9 Plus. Some of the things that they talk about on the front of this packaging is what we will be testing today. Talking about the precision touch sensitivity. I already know for a fact you have to go through the advanced features to turn on touch sensitivity for this one to even work properly. The full secure fit adhesive. This one is that full adhesive. And right here is one of those main talking points that is arguable. It talks about how it's curved precision fit. So we'll see if it actually is cut correctly and again this one right here the easy application I've seen someone in store try to put this thing on five times and still couldn't do it correctly now this one is the number one selling screen protection which is a little troubling but that is why I'm gonna make this video today to hopefully make a official installation guide for the curved glass elite for the Galaxy S9 and S9 plus so let's go right on inside and let's install this so here's the contents within the packaging. You do want to stop and register your invisible shield. Just go to zag.com slash register. So if anything does happen to the screen protector within that limited lifetime warranty, you are able to get this thing replaced. Here is step number one, which is that wet wipe. This one is going to be the microfiber wipe, which is going to be step number two. Step number three will be that dust removal sticker. And I'm going to show you the correct way of using these larger dust removal stickers. This one is going to be the very next step, which is using the squeegee. And now this one you do want to watch pretty closely because this is the one where a lot of people is doing it wrong. And then this one is going to be your guard that you're able to place your little Zag Invisible Shield on. So here is step number one, which is using the wet wipe from the packaging. Now you're going to take that microfiber wipe and you're just going to go right around. Make sure you get all of that little liquid and moisture off from the wet wipe. This is where you just want to make sure that there is no fingerprints or oil or anything else. Now, the very next step is going to be that little sticker. And with this one, what you're able to do is on the very back, when you open all this up, um, a lot of people will keep maybe this piece on and kind of go through the whole phone and try to do it like that. But the way that you actually want to do it is just by grabbing it by both ends. And then this way you're actually able to go through the whole entire phone in one bigger swoop. Now here's where you place on the guard where you have invisible shield that is right side up. That's gonna be on the very bottom of the phone. And then these two big areas right here will be on the very top of the device. Now, just in case if you happen to maybe um, get a little bit more dust that was kind of sitting around, just kind of go through there one more time and make sure that there's nothing left sitting on top of there once you put on that guard. Now, when your phone is ready, you are gonna take off this little sticker right here that says to take this one off. Now, the thing that is nice about this glass is that you can see that there's two different tabs that you're able to take, so you're not even touching the screen at all. Now, what you wanna do is just make sure that you place this one on there as straight as possible. Now, once it's sitting on there, go to the very bottom and you wanna press it with your thumb just to kind of get it stuck. Then what you're gonna do is you will pull off this very top, and then your next step is actually just by taking off this little guard. 
Now once the guard is off, you do want to take the squeegee. Now this one is going to be the soft side, this one is the hard side. For the very first thing you're going to do is place four fingers on the very top right over here, and you're going to use it with this little darker gray or darker side of it, which is the softer side. And with as much pressure as you can, just kind of push it on up, but make sure you go straight. Now the last thing you want to do is have a lot of pressure that will be on the very corners of this device. Now even though that is one of the things you want to do, just make sure that you're doing it straight. Um, once you go inside of this little zag invisible shield here, if I was to go at an angle like this and I press down hard, it'll actually break the very corner. You wanted to make sure that you go up there just going straight. Now you might see a couple different bubbles. So you can actually see that there's bubbles right up there in the very corner. Don't worry about that. That is what this side right here is for. Now this is where, again, you wanna make sure that you just go straight um, and you do not wanna go at an angle like this. Once you push down extremely hard, this one is gonna be very fragile, very similar as if you're on the very corner of a cliff. If you stand right here at the cliff, nothing is gonna fall off like small little rocks. But if you stand in the very corner of the cliff, these little fragments will fall off and that is where you break this glass. Now from here you can see that I am not done with the edges and there's actually a couple more bubbles on the very top that I still have to get to. Now what you want to do there is again still with this hard side. You don't want to go at an angle like this. You want to be as, as straight as possible even with the evenness of the phone. But this is where you push it up for the edges. Now another trick that I found with the corners is that when you push down with all four of your, your little fingers, you can see that this thing bends. This right here, this bend goes right around the edge if needed. The most important thing is all of this is flat going straight up, but you're able to give a small bend with your fingers going along the edge. So now on the very top, you can still see that I have a couple more bubbles there, um, but the edges have gone on pretty well, except for this baby spot here and then those two up here. So what you are able to do is you can go to the corner, give this thing just a little bit of a lift, but don't, don't lift it too hard. And what you're able to do is kind of give this that lift that will go in there to recreate the bubble that now you're able to fix. Now go through there again with this hard side. And again, make sure everything is just completely straight. Push it with a lot of pressure down, but keep this at a good angle, not straight up. And then you are able to get that thing fixed. Now a little trick with this one is that if you have a small bubble that'll be like right around here or in the middle or just somewhere that's not on the very corner, you are able to take the edge of this hard piece and kind of push down really hard on it. And you can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in an isolated area. This one reminds me of kind of like a gel adhesive that you are able to actually work that out. So as example, you're gonna be something like this angle here going through the whole phone not this angle, not this angle. You're gonna be way down here pushing this thing out. So now actually the final result here, after I literally probably pushed out, try to get all these little bubbles out of there, probably for a good four minutes. Um, also this corner over here, I lifted about three times to try to get all of these little bubbles off of there. So now this is going to be the end result. So here you can see that there actually is no bubble. There's no defect anywhere, um, except for the very, very, very top. There's just two little baby pieces that for some reason, I'm just not able to get out of there. Um, but that one is actually not gonna ruin the screw protector at all. This one is actually on there pretty well. So now our next step is that we will be playing with the touch sensitivity, and then we'll also be playing with the case friendliness. And again, scratching this will be a little bit later on. I wanna use this one for about a week to let you guys know the performance after using it for a week's time. Now for the first test, we will be going over into the Oh, wow, this is actually really bad. Uh, hold on one second. Wow, so I don't know if you guys saw that earlier. I was actually in my phone dialer. I was trying to actually get into um, the diagnostic test, but this touch sensitivity is the worst that I've ever seen in a screen protector. Um, this is probably where some of those mixed reviews are coming from. Uh, one of the things you do want to go into is the advanced features, which I don't know if this thing is even going to let me go and touch through it. Um, but you want to go all the way down and turn on that touch sensitivity, which I'm having a horrible time even turning it on. Okay, now we'll see if this actually is even worth it. Okay, here we go. Now we can actually use the phone. Um, you can see there why it's so important to go into your advanced features and turn on that touch sensitivity. Um, I was barely even able just to get into this part of the phone. Um, so you might as well turn that on first. The next step you also wanna turn on is by going over into your display 
because obviously this home button over here is gonna be pretty hard to deal with as well. You wanna go down to your navigation bar. With this navigation bar, go to this hard press home button and make sure it's as light as possible. So in this way, when you are touching your home button, um, with that little bit of a pressure push right there, it's a way that you are able to interact with your phone. Now let's move over into that touch sensitivity test. How you're able to get inside of that is just go to your phone dialing pad, go in star pound, zero star pound. Wow, you can see how much of a difference that was from just a minute ago. Now you're gonna head over into touch. Now up here is where you wanna test everything. Um, so this is where you're testing if you pull down your notifications panel. This is where you're testing if you're gonna be touching your home button um, or swipe up for your Samsung Pay. Um, so we'll kind of make sure everything's pretty good. So I'm not pressing too hard but I do have to say that this one is just way different than that white stone dome glass. The white stone dome glass that I've reviewed from before, which I'll actually place that link right up over here that you guys are able to click on to watch that video. That one there is perfect. Even though the installation is just a little bit different, um, I would rather use that one all day, every day versus this one, um, because you see that you have to change settings for this thing to even work. Um, with your device. Now the touch right after that and you change everything is going to be 100% perfect. Now one thing I do want to mention is if you go through that touch sensitivity test, the only way to get out of this is if you fill in all these different squares here. If you're not able to finish all of this because the screen protector just wasn't on correctly, you are able to hit that volume up to get you out of that screen. So this way you'd be able to hit back a few times and head back home. So now we're going to go through all these cases extremely fast. I just want to make sure that none of these are going to be popping off the screen protector, which I almost doubt because it is fully adhered, but we'll see if it kind of bubbles up. If you're interested in any of these cases, just go below the video inside the description. There will be links linking you to these that will be on Amazon or it could be maybe their websites. Um, so first off, this one is going to be the Samsung flip cover. This is their little clear standing cover. This one doesn't really go along the edges too hard. This one should very you know easily work with the screen protector here. So this one is good to go if you get yourself the Samsung clear view standing cover. So case number two is gonna be Tech 21. This one is Evo Max. It's a brand new case from Tech 21. Right now it's actually on pre-order. If you wanna check it out, just go to tech21.com. This one is rated 14 foot. Um, I use this one for a few days. Definitely one of my favorites, um, but I will not have a Amazon link for it just yet. I'll hopefully update that for you later. Um, but this one just is a beautiful case. I actually love it. They sent me over a couple different colors, but you're kind of getting a first look of it right now. So this one is definitely fitting. The lips on the sides and the very top is pretty, you know, hugging of the phone so it will not pop off the screen protector i don't think any of these will actually pop it off if there is one that will it's it is going to be spec which you know what we might as well test that one right now now next up is going to be spec this is the most hard fitting tight fitting case that will go onto your phone if you have a spec presidio this one is going to be one of those that will pop off almost every single screen protector that is known to man um, but we're going to see if this one does not pop off um, you can see it's a pretty tight fit um, and we are actually still good to go. There is no lifts, there is no bumps, there's nothing else that's going along the edges here. So because this one fits, I will guarantee you that if you have a question about Spigen or any of those other cases or Zizzo or any of those other cases that I am not testing today, man, that's hard to get off. Then you know for a fact this guy just passed the ultimate test. Now the next one up is from Gear 4. This is the Victoria Streak series. This one has very fast moved over into my favorite case that I am using on my phone. You guys all know me as a huge Tech 21 fan, but once this one kind of popped into my hands, the way that this one just feels, the way that it also looks in the very back, this one is that Victoria Streak one from Gear 4. I'll have their link below the video um, or their, at least their website. But this one uh, is actually doing a very good job. So, so far, so good with this little uh, Zag and Visa Shield. I've got a feeling that none of these are going to pop off. But moving on, we're going to head over into Under Armour. We're going to check this one out this is the one that i love to use with my magnet grip um, i already know for a fact this one's not going to push it off um, it's a little bit loose fitting in terms of how hard it is but it's definitely a very good protection of a case um, this one is good to go now we're going to move over into incipio now here with incipio this is one of those newer ones that i've tested this is one of my favorite from the incipio line um, this one is good for a 12 foot drop now this incipio case was one of those that was my highest drop rating cases which is 12 feet from incipio but then shoot here comes tech 21 over with their evo max with a 14 foot drop um, but we're not going to talk about that today so this one is fitting perfectly well no need to worry about that one now let's move over to uag i know a lot of you guys love uag so we're going to make sure that this one also fits on the device 
and there we go so this one is also fitting on the device i have no scratches no dents no dings uh, there's no little breakage there's no lifts so in terms of the zag invisible shield because this one is fully adhesive everywhere through the, the whole screen almost kind of like a gel adhesive um, this one will be a hundred percent case friendly so the final result i mean look at all this we tested all of these cases guys now here here's here's the thing now here's the thing so when it comes over into the final decision of how good is this Zag Invisible Shield Curved Elite Screen Protector. Now the thing about this one here, the final result, is that when it comes down over into installing it, it's very, very, very important that you watch what you're doing with this squeegee. This one is side one, step one. This one is gonna be the side two, step two. Make sure everything is down. Now when you do do this, you're not straight up. You have to be at a full angle with a lot of pressure. But again, you're never going to go on the top like this if you go like this it will crack it on the very top now you want to make sure that if there is any small bubbles that's in the middle because you don't want to lift this thing all the way up to the middle to kind of get it out you are able to kind of give this one a isolated push really hard with a corner to get that little bubble out and push down so the installation is gonna be fine as long as you just take a little bit of time. The touch sensitivity, you do 100% have to go through those two different steps of what I showed you from earlier in order for this thing to even work. This was horrible. It was not able to take almost any of my, my pressure points of my finger to work. So you wanna make sure that you are turning on those two different steps that you saw earlier. And then outside of that, it is 100% case friendly. So no matter what case you own, don't ask me in the comments, hey, is Spigen gonna work? Is UAG gonna work? I've already tested it. Is Zizzo gonna work? Work. I did not test it, but it will work 100% guarantee any case that you get will work because it 100% worked with the spec in Presidio, which anybody who works in a store or anybody who is around cell phones know if this one works, they all work. Outside of that, I hope you guys have liked this video. Hopefully this is a, also a official installation guide showing you exactly what to do, what not to do, because you can actually see here that this one is a perfect installation. Um, some of those little spots that I showed you from before is now actually gone. It is not there anymore so this one is actually sitting on there the way it's supposed to sit it's not ugly it's not bubbled up it didn't break this was me installing it for the very first time and successfully outside of that i'll see you guys later oh my god what am i gonna do this is a mess okay where is my mouse